and good morning. Something slightly different today. The weather is atrocious and it's certainly not biking weather as far as I'm concerned. So what I'm going to do is just go through my setup. I'm going to break the video into two parts um, and the first part will be about the motor vlog setup on my helmet and the second part will be to do with the editing software that I use and how simple it is and go through a bit of a how-to process with it. So first of all, apologies. I don't have a lighting studio. I don't have a expensive video camera. I'm currently recording this on my mobile phone so that I can actually show you the GoPro while it's attached to the helmet. Um, and like I say, the lighting is not as good as it probably could be. So please accept my apologies for that. But uh, I just thought I'd give you a look at uh, the setup that I use. So first of all, we're looking at the helmet. Well, no, first of all, I should point out that I have a cup of tea, which is a good colour. The helmet that I use is a Shark Squall helmet, which is a relatively inexpensive helmet. Um, I bought it for three reasons when I got back into biking a couple of years back or nearly two years ago, and that was one, it's a Carl Fogarty replica, two, it's got the built-in visor inside, and three, the price, which was, I believe, around £140, maybe $160. But it's actually a very good helmet, very good quality, very good sound redu reduction inside it which does help massively with the motor vlogging and it's a good looking helmet and also I've had it autographed by the man himself on the back when I met him up at uh, Bike for Life in Shrewsbury last year which didn't go ahead this year unfortunately for the obvious reasons um, disappointingly but I'll be back next year and if you get the opportunity to go uh, support them, they raise money for the Midlands Air Ambulance uh, which saves countless lives um, and countless uh, more severe injuries by being on hand in that area. The Air Ambulances across the country along with the rest of the um, Ambulance Service and paramedics uh, deserve all the help and respect and charity donations that they can get so please support any of your local Ambulance Services but like I say, the Midlands Air Ambulance Service ride out at Shrewsbury happens in April. Last Sunday in April is uh, incredible. Absolutely brilliant. So just search it. Search Ride for Life on uh, on YouTube. See the videos. The local constabulary close 25 miles of the local motorway to everything but motorcycles. And then you end up at RAF Cosford where there's a whole huge festival going on. Uh, and it's all about raising money for some really, really good causes. Anyway, back to it, motor vlogging. Most important thing about motor vlogging is the camera, which attaches to the helmet. And I currently use a Hero 7, which is superb quality, it's 4K. It's um, 60 FPS at 4K, which is brilliant. Uh, the only difficulty I did have is because of the size of it, I've had to put a little extension piece there on the mount because the angle of the helmet I had to wear the helmet quite high to be able to get the the view and angle but I've put that little extension piece in there now which means I can get a much better angle for it so the second part which is the hardest part is the sound now what I currently use is the GoPro mic adapter And I've got a mic, which I'll put a small picture up to show you on the screen of it uh, in a bit easier position to, to visualize. But basically, it's a small mic that sits inside there. It is a stereo mic. The cable comes out and plugs straight into the GoPro adapter. And that gives you some really good quality sound. And as long as you use a good deadening scarf at the front, of the helmet it keeps out the majority of the wind noise as well which is excellent 
Many of my videos are up around 60, 70 miles an hour. I've done one recently on the motorway where I might have gone slightly over 70. And the sound was uh, every bit as clear as any other video that I've done. So the most important thing, I think, is getting your sound set up properly. That's also the hardest part. I'm not a fan of um, motor vlogs where they actually record the sound over the top afterwards. There isn't anything wrong with it. It just, to me, it sounds scripted, which it actually probably is. And if it's done badly, it sounds badly scripted. I prefer the motor vlogs that are Johnny on the spot, as things happen, the brown adrenaline moments, all of that. That's my preference, and that's why I like to record in helmet while I ride. So money-wise, the great thing about GoPro is they bring a new one out every year. If they bring a new one out every year, that means people are trading in the older ones, which you can get on eBay for a much reduced cost. The one thing that you don't tend to get second-hand are these GoPro adapters. You can pick them up for about, I think, about £45 or $55. And the mic, which I'm going to show you a picture of, or have shown you a picture of, um, was nine ninety nine on Amazon. So relatively cheap. And in actual fact, if you get a good camera and adapter set up, you can actually get a cheap mic, and it gives you every bit as good a quality. So that's the setup I've got. Nice and simple, nice and straightforward, nothing too severe, and it's all nice and compact. And in a second, we'll swap the cameras around and I'll show you my editing software. Okay, so a quick change. I'm now wearing my helmet, so talking about the sound a moment ago, you can see whether it sounds okay right now. I'll try and adjust it so that the, uh, the volume between the phone audio and the he helmet audio is about equal but bear with me like I say I'm not a professional at this so I'm gonna have a quick conversation regarding the editing software that I use now I use a note 9 which comes with a stylus it does make it a bit easier for doing the precise times and things on video editing but certainly not an essential and the software I'm going to show you is an absolute doddle okay so the software that I use is called KineMaster you go into it, it's nice and straightforward. I'll just show you some bits regarding the um, operation of going into it and starting a video. And then what I'll do is I'll start a screen record and bring it up on the screen to show you a little bit better while I, uh, I do the editing with it. So, really simple. Add a new video. Choose what size you want the video to be. And then you're pretty much in there. So if I go into PowerDirector, I'll add my old intro to it, nice and short. Go into Restored, because I downloaded some videos this morning. And then what we'll do, we'll add that one, which was a Harley video. We'll add that one, which was on the Ducati. So now what we do is sort of talk about trimming it. Now this is how easy it gets. If you find that you've got your end piece and you want it to be there, you just click on the Trim button, Trim to the right, and then everything after that is gone. And again, with the start, it's just as simple. So you go back into it. You think, right, I want my video to start there. Highlight it, trim, trim to left, and it cuts everything back to the intro. And you can do that all the way through. Trim, split. Trim, trim to left. So now it's cut that whole section out. So we're okay with that. We then look, ah, oh, right, okay, so if I play this. Bit of a cut, so what we'll do, we'll add a nice, either a basic transition, which can be your classic fade to black. Or if we don't want a nice classic one, we can go back and add something a bit more interesting. Like a chromatic zoom. Or 
like that and it mixes it as it does it you may well think okay that's interesting but I like this bit it's quite dramatic let's split that so I've got a section there nice and simple and what we'll do is we will change the color filter and we'll take the color out and you can adjust the color filter to do exactly what you want I'm on screen record so I'm able to show you in a little bit better detail on how this works and the differences so on the left hand side you'll see an item there and if you open that up it shows you all the different layers that you have in it now at the moment I don't have any layers but if I want to add one hit the layer button choose whether I want a, f a video clip a photo an effect, a sticker, text or some handwriting I'm going to add a video clip I'm going to go to restored and I'm going to pick that one which is one that sits over the top you can decide to have it either in the corner there or if you want it to be full screen you can have it full screen come back to about there trim trim to the right cuts everything out so all of a sudden now we have some black and white We'll add a transition, which I think we'll go with... I don't know so much to choose from. Let's go with a light blur and a wipe. There we go. So... Now these clips are obviously from different rides, so they don't match up, nothing matches up, I'm not trying to make them match up. What you can also do if you wanted to now is choose audio and then pick from your audio files anything you want really. There's so many to choose from, some of which are all within the app. You might recognise this one from my other intro. So again, remember I'm not trying to make this a good video, I'm just showing you how simple this editing software is. So if you want to add another layer now, and we're talking about an effect. So we come down to basic effects, we come down to Gaussian Blur, we then have the Gaussian Blur in the middle there, you can change the size of it, you can change how um, effective it is and you can change the shape of it and that there has covered out that small section of the speedometer not that I was actually breaking the speed limit at that time but that's how simple it is, that's how simple it is to blur out sections of it Let's just cut that music so in music we'll go to trim and split split to the right so now that's there, I've got three different layers, and like I said earlier, if you go into the layer section, it shows you where all your layers are, so you can mess around with them as much as you want. Okay, now that is pretty much it, really. What you can also do, though, just if you wanted to end a video, say that's good enough for me, you can trim it, trim to the right, well, just delete that just to make that the end of the video and then what you can add in media is go into images add a dark screen add a transition now if you go to the classic transitions and choose fade through which is goes to black basically what you now have is a video that will fade out to black and that's the end of the video and from then you go into produce the video which I won't do now because I don't want to produce it and then after you've produced it which takes a few minutes you can then upload it straight to YouTube and it's all good
The other thing you can do with this software is connect it up to your PC and depending on what phone you use will allow you to actually do your editing through the PC. So you open up KineMaster on the screen, go to full screen to make it easier, actually that's the wrong button there, go to full screen to make it easier, now all of a sudden you can do all your editing via your mobile phone but on a much bigger screen. in the chest it's not too windy around the helmet as far as I'm concerned but the weird thing is that's all I can hear normally you'd have the drone of an exhaust underneath you and if you're on a uh, dual So you see how it all comes together, it is so simple that's taken a few minutes and if all this stuff was actually designed to go back together it would have been a much better vlog. Um, but it's as simple as that and it can be done absolutely flawlessly and quickly. I mean everything that's actually on the, um, the phone is available through the computer to make life a lot easier. So I can now add a photo of my bike to it if I wanted to. Put that there. And what you can also do... Let's delete that. What you can also do is change the animation. So you can fade it in, like that. You can fade it out or you can slide it down. You can change the size of it or the shape of it. So now all of a sudden that image will pop up nice soft edges and then drop away and that's it that's how simple kind master is hope you enjoyed the video I'll try and edit this all together using kind master and if it all comes out okay I'll catch you guys on the flip side take care